Before to get in today's video, if you love our videos, sure to click like button below. Make sure to click subscribe and the bell icon to receive notification of automation spot new video. In this way, you will never miss another one. Now let's get start our new tutorial S7 300 CPU I have. 313C. So now I'm going to share with you model of this CPU. You can see IP6ES7313-5BF03 0AB0. So this CPU I have. Now I am going to share you some explanation about this CPU. So this CPU have built-in module also and also attach CPU with this module built in. So now I am explaining about some function of the CPU. Here is a LED light you can see for power supply. This portion for power supply and here is a selector for 220 and 110 volt for switching. If you are giving power supply 220 then you must select 220 volt and if you are giving supply 110 volt then you must select 110 to 120 volt so here is a selector for power off and on and now i am opening port off for this power supply here is a input supply for power to give your power supply so now if you are selecting 110 volt then you must supply give here 110 volt if you have selected here for 230 volt 230 volt then you will must give supply here for 230 volt and last 3 pin for ground now i am going to move on output section here is a 3 port for giving supply to all your cpu and modules so here is a one port 24 volt dc and second port for 24 volt dc and third port also for 24 volt dc this first port you can give supply to your cpu and second port first module and second port so now i am going to move on cpu section here is a you can see light status this all for LED indication for error indication and your supply and memory card status run LED stop LED and if you are moving to master reset your LED will indicate here all status of indicator you can see here of your CPU now I am moving for toggle switch this toggle switch for run stop and master reset if you will this struggle for run mode then your cpu will goes to run mode if you will put here stop mode then your cpu will go to stop mode if you will put this in master reset then your cpu will be master reset now here is a slot for schematic mc card any memory card if you will push this button your master memory card will be open now you can see Siemens schematic MMC card okay if you will insert then you must need to after insert it then push it then this card will be insert now I am moving open the CPU port here is a 9 dbi pin for communication and here is a pin for your input power supply to your CPU so now i am moving for our input modules input and output here you can see clearly dc input 8 and analog input 5 and analog output 2 12 bit so here is a input pin 8 on this module also you can when you open this here is a wiring indication that where you need to put power supply and where you need to put 
input and where you need to put analog input and output where you can get your output voltage analog so now i am moving on our another module so here is another module built in in this cpu digital input we have 16 and dig digital output we have 16 dc 24 volt and here you can see here is a 8 input section and here is a 8 output section our s7 300 cpu 313c so next video i will tell you about its hardware wiring so if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe because if you don't want to miss any videos from us